Hi, this is I. I am in Bethesda, Maryland. I am getting ready to have surgery, and I'm going to take you through all the pre-surgery prep and things that happen if you're going to have surgery at NIH. Good morning. It's day one at NIH before my surgery. Today is lobotomy, EKG, anesthesiology, and an MRI. See? I, I know what I'm doing. Hi, Jerry. Nothing. We're out of most of our appointments for today, so I wanted to catch you up. The shuttle for NIH was full, and they had to send another shuttle for us, and so I was late getting here. Just prepare yourself. There's a patient and visitor entrance. They took us through that entrance. You have to show your ID and go through airport-style security. Then I got in and went to phlebotomy, and you fill out this yellow form, and then they assign you a number, and you get a little receipt for the number, and then they call you out by your number. And so I was F78, and they were on F75, so it was pretty quick. Went in, he got the blood on the first try, but it was 11 vials. So prepare yourself for that. There was even, you know, each cap is color coded, purple, white, or whatever. There was one that was camouflage, but that was interesting color coding. Oh, and then I had to do a urine sample to make sure I wasn't pregnant. If you're female, that's just part of the deal. And so they got that done pretty quick and I went to EKG, which was super fast. You take off all of your clothes from the waist up and they give you a towel and you lay down on a table and then a man came in, you can request a woman. He came in and put the little stickers on me, the little nipply stickers and attached the EKG machine and then got the printout. I have a picture of the printout and then had me carry that up to the anesthesia clinic, which was at OP3. So I went up to outpatient three, went to the anesthesia clinic, met with the clinic nurse, and then met with the anesthesia nurse, not maybe my anesthesia nurse. And then it, we went down to the lobby by the parking garage and applied for badges. We're on this like paper badge, but I wanna get a plastic one since we're gonna be here for 10 days. We went down to get it and they told me I needed a form from my clinic. So back to OP3, got the form filled out, turned it in. Jerry had to apply, go to fill out a form at hospitality. And now we're waiting for our badges. It takes about an hour for them to print them and then we'll have badges that can be scanned and we don't have to go through the airport style security every time we enter. We've just been cleared. They do a criminal background check and clear you. At 1.30, I can't eat anymore. We were eating a little lunch snack, but at 1.30, I can't eat anymore because I have an ab abdominal MRI at 5.30, and that is something where you can't eat for four hours before the appointment. It is September of 2023, and the masking policy is that you need to mask in patient areas. We're in the atrium, not the patient area, so we do not have to mask but in my doctor's appointments and phlebotomy and such, we do. Waiting areas for the clinics. Oh, yeah, you have Exam to mask. Exam rooms and stuff like that. But Waiting areas. Any common sense. areas? No. Elevators? No. Shuttle? Nope. No. Be prepared that, you know, maybe your shuttle's full. Um, you're at the end of the run. Yeah, at we were. At the end of the shuttle run. You're the last stop in the run before you head back to the uh, campus shuttle maybe even the second to last because Hyatt was full sometimes so if your shuttle is towards the end it could be full and you may have to wait for another one so they'll call another one for you so plan accordingly pack some snacks or be prepared to pay for them downstairs at the coffee house the main cafeteria the b1 cafeteria is open but there is a cafe in the atrium and a cafe that's a bookstore over by phlebotomy yeah. so you can get some snackies there so when i say i'm in the atrium i'm going to show you we're on the seventh floor which is the floor for patient care i would say because this is the floor with the chapel the library and recreational therapy some interesting things on this floor for patients. So this is the one we tend to hang out with when we're just hanging out. When I talk about the atrium, this is what I'm talking about. It's a 
Pipes Atrium area. And this is the view outside. That oh, this is the view of Jerry. <laughs> I'm trying to see outside. This is the view outside. That tall building is Walter Reed Medical Center. It used to be the Naval Medical Naval Medical Station. Time to have an MRI. Check out my outfit. Don't you wish you were stylish like this? <laughs> getting ready to go back and go to surgery. I'm having a partial nephrectomy today on my right kidney. They're gonna get the tumors off. 